here we are at Satuli Canteen. You can make your own Satuli bowl and there's also some delightful desserts and kids meals. Let's go. Over here, they are cooking the meats. This place also has mobile order available. You know a restaurant is good when the line is this long. As you can see, it is nearly impossible to get a seat here. So here's the menu at the Satuli Canteen. Firstly, you can create your own Satuli bowl. Your step one is select your protein. So you can choose from beef, chicken, a combination of beef and chicken, shrimp or tofu. The second step is to select your base, which is rice and black beans, red and sweet potato hash, noodles or salad. And step three, you can select your sauce, which is a green onion, black bean or creamy herb. Then they've got some kids meals, which include beef, chicken and tofu. And down here they've got the cheeseburger steam pod, a hot dog and a cheese quesadilla. Then turning over, they've got the desserts and a souvenir cup and they also serve alcohol here. So we just got our meal. We got the beef with rice and black beans with the onion sauce. So we'll see how it is. It looks pretty good. Mum actually asked to have the meat well done, which is a bit out of the ordinary, but we'll see if, how it tastes. So I've just got a serving of the beans. It's got a lot of onion sauce running through and we'll see how it tastes. Okay, just trying the beans now. Oh, okay, then, um, very good. I think this flavor combination is really, really tasty. Really works well with the sauce and the beans and rice. Okay, I'm just going to try some of the beef now. I definitely think it's better when it's raw. It doesn't have as much flavor, it's a bit more bland, but it's still pretty good if you like your things well done. So now I'm waiting in line for the Navi River journey. Our situation here was actually a bit disappointing. It was really nice last time, it was a bit cold this time, but that's okay. We're still going, we're waiting in this line right now, it should be about 70 minutes, and then we'll maybe do some other things. I cannot believe my luck, you guys. While we were waiting in line to go on the Avatar River ride, we got an extra fast pass for Flight of Passage, which is so good because the wait time's been hours all day. So we're just at the merge point right now. We actually counted the people in the ratio is 50 to 6 right now. Yeah, that's the last 50 count. 50 past past people to 6 standby people. That's so, it's yes. so not right. Yeah, I should have asked that. That feels too much Nobody to me. Nobody queue up in standby if they knew that's the ratio in the margin. It's terrible. Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a banshee. For your safety throughout this entire experience, remain seated. Just exiting the park right now. I feel so lucky that I got to ride Flight of Passage two times today. It's amazing. Anyway, we I think we might be going to the Contemporary to get a hot chocolate and see the gingerbread house because it is way too cold to be outside anymore. Fun fact, there is a rainforest cafe just outside of Animal Kingdom that you can get into without a park ticket but it's still connected to the park so you can just walk on through. This rainforest cafe is very very pretty. I think it's substantially less busy than the one at Disney Springs which is always good. 
as you can see, it's a gorgeous sunset. Exiting Animal Kingdom. I got on a whole bunch of rides, but Mum didn't get to ride very much because she gets motion sickness. I did too. <laughs> Sky did six. So yeah, so just be aware that if you have motion sickness or you don't like thrill rides or whatever, Animal Kingdom doesn't have a lot of options, but there's still a couple of things to do. Plus it's cold, just like otherwise it'd be a nice park to just walk oh, around. Oh, yeah, it's just unbearable today, unbearable. 